If you decide to install your patio roof risers into blocking, the first step will be to measure the space between your rafter tails and then cut your blocks to size. Take this measurement for each block individually as rafter spacing can vary. Now measure and mark the width of your block on your rafter tail. Then mark the positions for your fasteners. After the positions are marked, pre-drill your holes. Our engineering calls out multiple ways to attach the blocking, including Simpson ties, nails, or lag screws, which we are using here. Now repeat this process for the other side. Now we're going to install the blocking, but there's a couple things to take note of first. If you have vented soffits, you'll want to back the block off a couple of inches to allow for proper airflow. We recommend you finish your block before installation to best protect it from the elements. We aren't doing that in this case, as it's just a demo. All right, now back to our install. The final step is securing the block with our lag screws. If you want to use something other than 4x8 blocking, or use an installation method that isn't listed in our engineering, please make sure to consult a local building professional to make sure it's up to code. Now finish installing the rest of your blocks. Once you're finished, you'll be ready to install your patio roof riser bases up on the roof.